What's going on guys? Today we'll be reviewing the Gamos Warm Whisper. It's one of my favorite guns that I own. I actually recently purchased it. It's really advanced to be a pellet rifle. That's right, it's a 22 pellet rifle. And it's got some pretty decent power to it. I mean, it's not like a 22 LR or nothing, but definitely enough to go squirrel hunting. I would even say larger pest control, you know, like possums and stuff, but I haven't done it. I don't recommend doing it, but. I just want to give you the review of what I think is the, the best deal, period, that you can get on a pellet rifle for what you get for the money. This thing is just as good as it gets. Like there's nothing I think that's a better deal than this. This thing does everything and it does it flawlessly. Well, I guess I'll start out with the price. The price for this is $150 from Walmart, which sounds like a lot for a pellet rifle, but this is not your average pellet rifle. You don't just break the barrel and put a pellet in, no. It comes with a 10 round rotary magazine. See, you twist these sides like this, and that's how you load it. If you look, you can see it has a rotary magazine in it, and it holds 10 rounds, which is pretty impressive. I love the rotary magazine. All you have to do is cock the gun and this will put a pellet in the chamber. You load this up before, all you gotta do is cock it and there's a pellet in. Then you fire. Then you cock it and there's already another pellet in because it has the magazine. So there you go. You, all you have to do is cock it and fire. And if you look at the top, it tells you how many rounds are in the magazine. So there's nothing in it. So there's an exclamation mark on top. That's how you tell if you're out. It'll tell you right on top of the rifle so you don't have to question if you have any pellets in the magazine. Another cool feature about this gun is right here. You may not know it, but built inside is a suppressor. That's right, a suppressor on a pellet rifle. You're asking why they do that. It's because this has so much power that it's getting close to the sound barrier. There's so much air pressure inside that whenever this fires, if it didn't have a suppressor, it would go pow, and it'll sound like a 22, a low powered 22, but that's about what it'd sound like if it didn't have the suppressor built into it. So they added that into this rifle as well, which I think is pretty cool. A legal suppressor for 150 bucks, right? You can't beat that. Another thing I like about this rifle is the trigger. I don't like that it's plastic, but I do like that it's adjustable. If you look in there behind the trigger, you'll see a little bolt. All you gotta do, I don't know if you can see it, it's at a weird angle, but all you have to do is twist that little bolt and you can adjust your trigger if you want it harder, if you want it softer, which I think is a pretty cool thing, especially on a pellet rifle, you don't see that much. Gammo has their own little signature. They have these rings on the butt and what the rings stand for, they all stand for certain things. One of them stands for target shooting. One of them stands for just plinking and the other one, the green stands for hunting. So if you see the green ring on a Gammo, that means it's a hunting rifle specifically made for hunting. And while we're back here, I'll show you the butt stock. It's actually a nice butt stock. I have rifles that have worse gun stocks than this. This thing is actually pretty nice. It's pretty hefty. It's kind of a heavy gun. It's not too heavy. It feels just right in your hands. I love this gun. It's so great. Like I said, it's 150 bucks from Walmart for this. And it comes with the scope. I mean, just everything you see here, it comes with the barrel, the scope, the butt stock, obviously. God. But it comes with this, just the scope and the rifle, the bare rifle. There's nothing to it. This is a very minimalist rifle, honestly, other than the 10 round magazine, which you can actually take this off and use it as a brake barrel if you wanted to. But I'm not doing that. I want to keep the magazine. That's a special part about this that I love. Like I said, this is a 22, so it has more knockdown power than 0.177. So now let's talk about the accuracy. This thing is accurate, little son of a bitch. <laughs> This thing is extremely accurate. I love this rifle. I got it because of the price of 22 ammo and all the other sorts of ammo. All the prices are out the roof. So I wanted something that I could plink around with and actually be accurate with. I will say that I wish the scope was different. If you get the upgraded version of this, which is the Gamma Swarm Maxim, it's $200, but it also comes with an adjustable scope and it comes with a metal trigger. And on the end of the barrel here, it comes with a muzzle brake, which is pretty stupid, but because it's air rifle, 
but it does come with that on the end of the Maxim. This one doesn't. I like how this one looks better, I think. It's more sleek. It just, it's a clean looking gun. There's nothing I can complain about the looks of it or the feels of it. Another thing to note about these rifles is there's a Gen 1 and a Gen 2. This is a Gen 1. You can tell by this. The Gen 2, it looks more futuristic. The loader on the Gen 2 is more bubbly shaped. So it doesn't, I think it's kind of cool. It just looks like an alien gun, but this one just looks ergonomic and just, I think it looks better as a rifle, honestly. Now there's uh, four variations of this rifle. This is the cheapest of all of them. There's the Whisper, the Maxim, the Fusion, and the Magnum. The Magnum's the top of the line. I went in sequence there. The cheapest was this one, so I started out with this one. But there's this one, the $150 one, the Maxim. It's $200 but I told you what it comes with. And then there's the Fusion, which has everything I told you about the Maxim, which is the one that has the muzzle brake, the better scope, and the better trigger. But it also comes with fixed sights, the Fusion does, which I think is pretty neat. And I think the Fusion's only in a Gen 2. Don't quote me on that. Their magazine system in the Gen 2 is better. That's why they made the Gen 2 is because it's more advanced. You can't double load pellets in the Gen 2 but you can with the Gen 1. So if I was to load this and cock it and put a pellet in and forgot I cocked it and re-cocked it, there's two pellets in the chamber now, which they say is bad, but I doubt would do any damage. Now the Magnum is the top of the line. It's about 350 bucks. It has a steel barrel with a suppressor on the end. Instead of this plastic right here, it's all steel and it has a longer barrel. And the suppressor on the end is supposedly the quietest out of all of them. And that's something you notice throughout these rifles, the higher you pay in price, the quieter the gun is. Now the Whisper, Maxim, and Fusion all have the same gas piston in it. That's why I decided to get this, is because it has the same amount of power as them. It's just, it's 50 to $100 less than the other two. Now the Magnum, it's like $150 less. The Magnum is a lot more powerful. It has a better piston in it, for sure. If I was going to get one, and I had a pretty decent budget, I would get the Magnum, but for the value of this, you cannot beat this. This thing's accurate, powerful, and very fun. Easy follow-up shots with this magazine. That's what makes this better than all other pellet rifles. And all the swarms have the gas piston in them, which means instead of having a spring in there that pushes a piston and pushes the bullet out, it has like a gas shock in there that has a piston on it that when you cock it, that gas shock gets pushed back. And then when you pull the trigger, it releases that gas shock and sends the pellet flying very fast and a lot more smooth and sounds a lot better than a spring powered rifle. They claim that this shoots a thousand feet per second in 22 cal, but in reality, if you're using regular lead pellets, you're going to be shooting probably about seven to 750 if I had to guess. And that's all I use is lead because I want the punching power of lead, you know, because when lead hits it splatters, whatever it hits, it'll deform and create more inertia into the object you're hitting which is more fun than just going straight through it so now let's find out how many bottles of water a 22 pellet from this will go through it's probably going to do pretty good we'll see okay guys place your bets in the comments how many of these bottles do you think that this will shoot through in 22 cal and i'm using lead not pba Yikes. All right, guys, guess what? Went through three. <laughs> See, one, two, and this one's completely out. Look at the wound, the exit hole on this bottle. Look at that. I can stick my whole hand in there, and trust me, I'm a big guy. <laughs> That's what's awesome about this gun. It just creates massive freaking holes and bottles and stuff. When you shoot it, you destroy whatever you shoot. It's amazing. Okay, now we're gonna try to hit the bottles I set up down there earlier and see how accurate it is. First, we'll start with the targets. I just painted them at the beginning of the video you saw. I just painted the orange targets. I'm gonna shoot them first. I'm gonna go from largest to smallest. And then after that, we'll go to the bottles. How about that? All right, guys, I got the magazine loaded. I've got 10 in. So we're gonna start with the plates from largest to smallest. And then after that, I'll go from left to right, shooting the bottles that are scattered everywhere, pretty much. 
but there's only one way that this goes in. See this little groove right here? That little groove can only go one way in here, so you can't put this in backwards. And another thing I forgot to mention was, when you're loading this, you have to put the pellets through this little hole right here. And if you have big fingers, it's kind of hard, so sometimes you'll have to take like another pellet, like this, and just push the other pellet in, sometimes. Sometimes it'll go in with your fingers. I've just got big meaty hands, but other than that, that's all I forgot to tell you. But let's start shooting at these targets down here. I had to scoot you over so I can start with the large target first. <clears throat> Dead center. I was afraid I might have knocked the scope off the other day the way I was transporting. I threw it in the back of the vehicle. <laughs> All right, now the next one. Oh, that was a good shot too. See how fast the follow-up shots are? You're already ready. Oh yeah, this thing's hitting good today. Now the smallest one, gonna have to focus a second here. Oh no, I missed. <laughs> that was me though, I jerked. Right now the small one. Oh yeah, dead center, there we go. User error. So there's four bottles down there and I have four shots left in the gun let's get him starting on the left left of the hanging targets there's a one there's one on a rock we'll hit it oh. <laughs> i jerked again guys i'm sorry I hate wearing these glasses but my contacts have gone bad Now there's one on the log right there to the left of the target. Hit. Now to the right of the target, about 10 feet on the fence post, the wooden one, let's hit it. Hit. But now I gotta load one real quick. <laughs> Cause there's one more bottle down there. See the closest orange targets? It's behind it to the right, just there. Hit. I'm telling you, man, this thing's a tack driver. I love it. All right, guys, here's our victims from down there. Look at that. That's, these are the exit wounds, by the way. Look at the huge hole this gun puts in them. Look at this one. It's like a four inch slit right down the other side. This one, look at that. It does some damage, guys. This thing's awesome. <clears throat> if you're wanting to save money on ammo, I recommend buying one of these, especially when 22 ammo costs 10 times more than this. It's time to invest in a good pellet rifle. That's if you're like me and enjoy shooting all the time, which I'm sure you are because you're watching this video. So definitely pick one of these up. 100% recommend. One of my favorite guns in my arsenal right now. So that was my review of the Gamo Swarm Whisper. I definitely recommend picking up one of the swarms. I don't care which one, they're all good. But like I said, I purchased this one from Walmart for 150 bucks. You can't beat it. If you wanna save money on ammo and still have a lot of fun shooting accurately, buy it. You won't regret it. But anyways guys, thank you for watching the video. Like and subscribe. I plan on making more videos. 
So I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm kneeling in water. This is stupid. Oh. <laughs> Gamo, destroying water bottles since 1959.